Hey there, welcome to my channel. We want to look today on the issue of making use of mathematical calculations on your form. And in this case, I have made an order form that we're going to make use of. Before we jump right in, I would like to remind you, if you are new, to uh, subscribe to my channel so that you get new content. Also, if you don't have a JotForm account to make use of, I'll uh, make use of the links below for a paid or a free account uh, right now. We want now to demonstrate how to do these mathematical calculations. So when you have your form, uh, say you want to make use of numbers, you make use of the number uh, widget. Say uh, we want to calculate uh, two fields, say item one and uh, item two. So we want to have a total now from this information. We go to the widgets there and we search for form calculation. We drag that there and then we write total. Once that is done, we now need to calculate the answers for adding item 1 and item 2. So under here, under this total, we go to the widget settings. What we're doing is we're adding the fields that we have and then getting a result on this total um, widget. So we say add field. We have item 1, and then we say plus. That's the mathematical operator that we need to make use of. Add the second field, which is item 2. So it means item 1 plus item 2 is going to be the total that we get there. So after we do that, we save. Now let's demonstrate and see how this actually works here. So we're going to preview the form and test it. So say we have uh, 10 items here and 2 items there. You see, the total becomes 12. Well, sometimes uh, it's irritating that once you put 10 there, it actually put um, 10 is the total. And when we put maybe 3 here, then 13. Say you want the total to come out only when both of these have been filled out. There is a way for us to do that. It's quite simple, and I'm going to explain it just now. So we're going to uh, go back to the editing uh, panel, where we're going to deal with the conditions that can help us to say the total only comes out when both of these are filled. So to get that result, we have to undo uh, this calculation that we did here. So we're simply going to go to uh, the calculation there and then we clear it. Let's uh, go to the settings and then the conditions. So we make use of update and calculate field. Here we go. So we select a field to say if item 1 is filled and if item 2 is also filled. Once these both of these are filled at the same time, we have to choose all. If all rows are matched, that's when we're going to have the answer that comes out. So what we do here is then say calculate a field value from both of these fields. So we add item 1 plus item 2, and then the answer comes out as the total. So in this case, it will calculate item 1 and item 2 and post it under total. So when we save here, that's active. We go back to our build here, and then we preview the form and see the results. So as you can see, if I put 10 here, the answer is still 0 there. If I then put 5, it then calculates. So that's a better feel than just having the answer come out when we enter the details. So those are the ways in which you can set this up so that you have mathematical calculations. You can manipulate these anyhow by making use of this widget section where you have an option to play around with all the operators that you have there.